against Sir Keir Starmer's Labour government wants pensioners to breathe a sigh of relief, as they're letting it be known that Rachel Reeves will retain free prescriptions and bus travel in the budget on Wednesday. The government's also briefing that the decision to axe the winter fuel allowance for pensioners is being more than offset by the decision to maintain the triple lock on pensions. The triple lock ensures that state pensions increase by the highest of either inflation, average increase in earnings or 2.5%. But the government's being disingenuous because since 2016 there are two types of state pension, the so-called new state pension and the basic state pension. Most pensioners receive the basic state pension and that's lower than the new state pension. So when you hear Labour MPs saying the loss of the winter fuel allowance will be more than offset by a £475 increase in the state pension, they're just being economical with the truth because most pensioners won't receive an increase anywhere near £475. Don't let these MPs wriggle their way out of the fact that the Labour Party's own impact assessment concluded that scrapping the winter fuel allowance will result in nearly 4,000 pensioners losing their lives.